Hi Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look and see whom the universe is sending into your life next. So I guess this reading here is going to be tailored for those of you that are single and are open and receptive to finding love or just uh, connecting with someone new here or even perhaps someone from your past. This is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here where the show more section is. All right, guys, let's give the cards a shuffle and see whom the universe is sending next into your life. Okay, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, but she's sort of come out in reverse. We've got Death. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like maybe this is a past uh, past person. This is someone whom I feel like maybe you guys had a connection with in the past. You've had history or you guys were romantically involved with one another, even if it was just like loosely involved here. But I feel like maybe this is someone whom you've ended things with in the past here. For some of you, I feel like it's not over yet. But a great deal of patience is required here in order to come together and reconcile your, you know, the past and your past differences here. For others, it is a new person that's coming up. But as we can see within their energy here, they're very much a wounded energy. They're very much a hurt soul here. And for some of you, you might have already met this person, okay? But it feels like you just can't seem to connect with them on the level that you want to connect with them you just can't seem to break through to them it feels like they have their walls built up so high that it's impossible for you to climb over and get to them so i definitely feel like there's a struggle in connecting with one another it's not necessarily you or it's not anything that you're saying or doing it's actually more so this person now they're not a bad energy i just feel like this person has been hurt in the past so much so that they're having a hard time opening themselves up they're having a hard time lowering their guards they're having a hard time trusting people again they've been betrayed they've been backstabbed by those who are closest to them and as a result i feel like this person is finding it really hard to love and to trust again okay so this is why i feel like a great deal of patience is required so you know regardless of whether this is a past energy or if this is someone new who has entered or is yet to enter your life if you do want to make things work here, you're going to have to be very patient with the whole process and getting to know them and them, you know, lowering their guard and them opening up to you because there is a great deal of hurt in their energy. And it feels like this person is also coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, which is a very insecure kind of energy. And I feel like, you know, they've got involved with the wrong people or they've you know, loved the wrong person in the past. Now, some of this hurt could stem from childhood, from upbringing here. Okay, it could be the environment in which they grew up with, um, in sorry, or it could be a romantic relationship, partnerships that failed. It could be closed energies here, whom that they loved and they've trusted, but all of a sudden this person has betrayed them. They did have some very, or they may still have some very like a lot of hardships or even tragedies, um, transformation, a lot of changes, upheaval, emotional anguish coming up around their energy. There's been a lot of changes in their, in their energies. And I feel like right now, I don't know that this person is in a position to be as open as you want them to be. Only because I feel like if you actually want to have a healthy relationship with this individual, I feel like this person needs to work on themselves individually before the two of you can work on building a connection or even a relationship together. They still harbor a lot of hurt in their energies, okay? There's still a lot of pain. Swords are a weapon. They are a destructive energy. Yes, they can be good, used for good and bad, but in this case, I feel like swords here have really... It's like they've broken their spirit. It's really... Um, it's really weighed them down here. It has. So this Four of Swords is a wounded soldier lays at rest here. The Ten of Swords here is um, a figure, you know, that has been... Um, you, you've got all these ten, ten Swords here that have been staked into his back. There's a lot of pain, betrayal, anguish, 
hurt. This person has, they have a lot of work to do on themselves. I feel like they're aware of it. I don't know if they're as aware of it as they should be, but I feel like on some level they are aware of it. I feel like they're also a very scared energy. I don't know if they suffer from any mental disorders like anxiety, maybe in depression, or I don't know if there's like something else there, but it feels like there's a lot of fears and there's a lot of insecurities, some of them which have been instilled in them from an early age. Others, I feel like they've just picked up along the way here throughout their life. Um, but I definitely feel like this person has been hurt, um, especially from previous relationships or people that were, they were um, dealing with in the past here. There's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of pain, a lot of even like anger and resentment in their energies here. They have to shed their skin, okay? I feel like there's a lot of changes that are happening around them as well, but it's almost like they're resistant to those changes. It's almost like they're not wanting to embrace those changes because you know change can be scary for everyone because it is essentially something that is not familiar stepping outside of our comfort zone and releasing what is familiar with us can be very scary very daunting even so i feel like with this person's energy i feel like they are very much resistant to change they're also resistant to lowering their guards they want to open up to you they want to love okay they want all those things but i feel like they've just have been so hurt and they're holding on to that pain and that's I feel like that's making it worse because they're not willing to release that pain it feels like they've you know they're bound by these by this pain they're shackled by their past here and by and essentially I feel like whatever you don't so this person I feel like is carrying around a sense of pain with them and whatever you do not like if you continue to uh, suppress your pain and if you continue to ignore it or push it deep down inside of you, eventually, you know, it might be buried for some time, a couple of weeks, a couple of months, even a couple of years, but eventually it's going to pop back up to the surface and you're going to have to deal with it then. And it could hinder, okay? It could, um, it could translate as resistance. It could also uh, like impact your health and it could be very destructive to the person or to the person that they're dealing with or to future relationships. So this person's energy feels as though they're not willing to go head to head with and confront their pain individually. It's almost like they're scared. It's almost like they don't want to revisit the past. They don't want to relieve, you know, relive certain memories. But that's the only way, you know, to heal it, feel it, to heal it. You can't, you, they have to accept what's happened here and they have to learn from it. If they continue to ignore this pain, if they continue to suppress it, essentially they are feeding it in a way. They are in a way, okay? And it's sort of spreading throughout like a poison. It's a very heavy energy and I feel like your person here... It's sad because for some of you, like, this is, I feel like this is a good energy. It's just that they've found themselves in the wrong place at the wrong time a lot of the time. And had you met this person earlier, okay, maybe the two of you, maybe, you know, this person could have avoided all of this pain being inflicted on them. Or they, like, things could have gone very differently for you, okay. But it just feels like something about the timing where it feels like, you're ready, okay? Sure, you may have your own, you know, issues or your own quarrels here, but it feels like you're ready. But even though this person wants the things that you want and they want to open up and they want, you know, honesty and they want a loving and loyal relationship, but because this person is so, I feel like because they're so latching onto the pain, that for them, pain is a sense of normality, okay? So they grew up with pain or they've been involved in painful upbringings or even relationships so for them in their mind okay that's the norm okay that's a normalcy and somehow they seek out okay unconsciously not purposely unconsciously they seek out relationships that essentially are painful or are tragic or are hurtful in some way it's because you know that's all they've ever known that's familiar and even though it is very painful. It's comforting in a sense. So it is quite heavy. There's a lot to take in here. And this is why I feel like your person, you know, they've been subjected to a lot of pain and it's changed them. It has. But they need to shed their skin here. There's a lot of wounds that they need to nurse, okay? And they need to heal to be able to move forward here. Because if they don't, 
those um, there will be emotional triggers that will pop up from time to time and they will hinder any and all future relationships including your one um, the one that you might have with them seven of cups an emotionally scattered energy and it's a, like a bit of a non-committal type of energy your person could also be like emotionally avoidant or have commitment issues but again i feel like this all stems from previous relationships or upbringings like in, uh, previous emotional experiences and I feel like, again, you know, they want these things, but on some level they feel like they may be incapable or they may not be deserving of those things. So there's a lot that your person has to work through. And I feel like for them, they have to start with themselves. If, you know, they, if the two of you want a healthy relationship or if you want to get something started, it's essential that this person here starts working on themselves, shedding skin, letting go here, releasing hurt, anger or pain. Okay, there is a sense of finality both with death and the Ten of Swords here. And they're ready for a new cycle. They're ready for changes. But they should stop resisting any and all changes here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. So look, the universe does want to send you someone or has sent you someone very special in your path. It just appears that your person here still has a lot of work to do on themselves before the two of you can get in, like, engage in a relationship or build in a connection. Um... If and when they do, I do feel like you could, you truly could have something very special because this is someone who I feel like they've been on the receiving end of hurt and they don't, they know what it feels like so much so that they wouldn't dare inflict it on someone else, at least not deliberately. All right, guys, and this is pretty much your reading. So please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care now.